and back to seats B&G. All right, by now y'all should have seen that we got our pigs. We believe that we're gonna go with the names Jesse Jones, that's the red one, and Jimmy Dean's back there in the back. So we got Jesse and Jimmy. They found their water. The peanut butter trick on the nipples did work. So um, they found the water. They're rooting through all of this um, this mulch and stuff like that. Rooting on there, finding what they can that's growing out. They also have their food here, which um, while they're rooting, they've put stuff in there. But the purpose of this video, me and my oldest boy, we got to figure out how to set up this um, electric fence. I thought this grounding rod, I've used grounding rods in the past when I was at Marine Corps, and they probably were this long, but they was uh, separated and you could screw in each piece. You know, you pound it into the ground, uh, leave a little bit of it out, screw in the next end, pound it down, screw in the next end. And I think it was three or four pieces. Went to Lowe's, bought this, and it's eight feet, <laughs> eight feet long. Um, don't really know how we're gonna get it in the ground, but we will figure it out. Um, some suggest that you go in the ground at a 45 degree angle. Um, so I may end up trying to do that, but we got a Zariba set up. This is for 15 miles. We got the tester, the grounding strap, um, the poly wire fence, fence line, and the T-post um, T post insulators. And these pieces I just picked up just in case we need to open and close a part of it. Don't know if y'all can see that from me standing on but that's what we have. I know this is a 15, uh, 15 miles long, but what I'm thinking is wherever I set this up at, I may be able to run wire from this um, and just loop back and forth several times to give me my three strands or four strands or whatever I do. I may be able to actually take it all the way across the back here, which is, I believe that's, I believe that that is, 500 and something feet from um, from corner to corner down there so we may be able to just run us um, some electric wire along this back but we'll figure it out uh, maybe able to bury something and put a few strands around Alicia's garden here um, let's walk over here real quick before AJ and I get started where Alicia's come out here this morning of course during our uh, during our Lowe's trip where I went to get grounding, the grounding rod. We picked up some, I believe this is called purple kale. Yeah, purple kale. Picked up some um, some cabbages. I think she got a couple different kinds of cabbage. Some rosemary. I think this is called butter, butter crunch. What's this honey? Butter crunch? Butter crunch lettuce. And she has a rosemary. But Alicia's out here getting busy herself. And now it's AJ and I's turn to put in some work. That's all I have for right now. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to figure out how to get this thing in the ground. All right, guys. I'm tired, as you can see. I got half of this in the ground. I tried it at the angle like um, was recommended. I'm going to keep going. I think I got about four feet in the ground. I gotta, I'm gonna take it down to where there's about three inches sitting out. Ah. I'm tired again. What's funny? Your turn. How about your turn? What you laughing at over there? I'm, I'm like, I'm on. You brought, you brought snack to the work. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. No, you ain't tired yet. Let's go. Mr. Funny Man. Like, you tired? 
No, it's about three feet out. No, three inches. Three inches? Yeah. <laughs> Urgh. Urgh. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Come on. Faster. You tired? I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Let's switch off. Maybe if I come from this side. I'm tired again. Oh. I got an idea. I got an idea. Get the tractor I hit it. and drive the bucket into it. What? I'll do it. Here. I think that's a good idea. So there's a bunch more that's more likely to get shot by like a viewer. Right? Just a friend of ours, we're still here, I believe. Uh, just in case. I'll take a couple of things. I can do it. You just round them up. This is the power we got there. All right, guys. It is still, uh, let's see. Let's see what time it is. Still early. It's 1 o'clock. Got some cardboard burning up over here. AJ has come over and Flip the compost. Hopefully uh, it heats back up. Might have to uh, put some grass shavings or something in here, but we don't have nothing right now. So it is cold. But hopefully um, we can get it cranked back up, get some scraps and stuff in there. But what I wanted to show you was solar fence I failed at reading the directions I was supposed to put the um, the solar charger or the power generator in the Sun for three days before trying to use it but we got it all set up this is our first time setting up any kind of electrical fence but we got it set up and I can actually, let's see, y'all can't see that there, but I can flip it on. And you can see it's flashing. Some things I read, it says that that's when it's sending the electrical pulse through the fence. I'm not sure, I'll try to do a little bit more research. But this is the one we went with, the, the Zariba 15 mile, what's that? ESP 15M-Z. That's the model we went with. I'm gonna cut that off so it'll continue to um, to charge. But we use these T-post insulators down here to go around the fence. In some places it's touching, and I don't know if that zeroes out the um, the current or not. For those of you that um, do know things about electrical fences. Uh, please let me know because I could get the I could get the T-post Insulators that stick it out a little bit farther away. Look at this big joker I could get the insulators that stick out maybe another couple inches But we went all the way around The 
pigs know it's not hot right now because they actually grab, grabbed hold of the um, of the poly wire and pretty much was biting on it. Some of these hog panels were not straight because we had to like fold them or roll them up a, a little bit to get them onto the trailer just because I don't have a 16 foot trailer. But let me know if we need to extend it away from the um, from the panel so it's not touching anywhere. Like here, this shows it touching. And then it goes back away from it. I wet the pig's food up a little bit and they, uh, they went to town on it. So it's almost like they like it better wet than dry. Look back here hanging out. Nobody's messing with you. So they're back here hanging out. Um, AJ helped me get all this wire and stuff set up today. They have found the water. The peanut butter trick did work up there. I may have said that earlier. So we've got, got this grounded. This ground wire that you see about eight inches sticking out is actually eight feet long. We went in at the angle that you see here and we was able to get that pounded down. I'm going to remove the wire and put this uh, cinder block over it just so we'll know um, we'll know that that uh, grounding, grounding pole is there. Don't want anybody falling on it. Don't want to run over it or anything crazy. Just little cans, just something I was using to, uh, actually we were shooting at it earlier. Not earlier today, but we we're shooting at the can. But I started using it to dip water out of their container here and put it into their bowl. Came out last night to check on them. And I guess it's not cold enough for them to want to get into the little shelter area. They was kind of burrowed into the um, into the mulch like you see them back here now. You know, hugged up on each other like that. But that's it for right now. Like I said, we got the fence up. We'll see how much power and stuff it has like that. Um, we'll give it a couple days. I don't think they're going anywhere right now. Hog panel seems to be good for them. They're not strong enough to push it or anything like that. But we do want to get them trained to the wire. Um, and hopefully, you know, I may think about expanding, going across to where at least grabbing another 16 feet this way which will take us over to this big pine tree here and put those trees there inside of the pen and they'll have a little bit more room to go. But that might be something that I see next year. I don't know. Um, I don't want to do that right away, but I had AJ bring some of this um, wood chips up from the front, bring it back here so that we could use that back here. Um, doesn't smell yet. Also, it hasn't rained yet, <laughs> so I see that they have been pooping and stuff like that, so they're good to go. Um, hopefully, the the little pallet house that we built here, if they want to get out of the mud, get out of the, the gunk that will be down here, if they, uh, whenever it rains, they can. I may try to get a solid piece of wood to actually put down on the floor so that they don't have to worry about stepping through the pallet or anything like that, but that's what we have so far. Please like, comment, subscribe. Y'all come back now, you hear?